Back here in the old Pueblo, as is tradition, crowds hiked up a mountain to honor Good Friday. But this year, smaller crowds made the trek to Sentinel Peak. Not in your sides, Marcelino Benito shows us why. So I cherish that old rugged cross. Picking up the cross is just the beginning of a spiritual journey up a mountain. They feel closer to God as we are going up the mountain. David Herrera, at 93 years young, continues to bring these people together. It's a procession now in its 43rd year, a hike that stirs up emotion. Sometimes they start crying. Sometimes they start uh, speaking in different tongues. Sometimes they start singing. But the singing has quieted down in recent years, dwindling attendance after a disagreement with the Catholic Church. Yes, we did lose a big support of the, from the Catholic Church, but we will continue. We will continue to keep doing what we've been doing for the past 43 years, which is make creating an event for the people. For the first time in the event's 43-year history, a pastor not affiliated with the Catholic Church led the procession. And our biggest thing here is that we are non-denomination. We're all believers in Jesus Christ, and we all believe that he died on the cross for all of us equally. So step by step, the 16-foot white cross flanked by believers, again slowly made its way to the top of Sentinel Peak. It overlooks all of Tucson, Arizona. So we like to think of it as like a Mount Sinai, where people are making this climb. Everyone takes on the climb for different reasons. Some walk for tradition, others hike for hope. But it's just good to, to, to join in and uh, be with other, uh, you know, believers. And when the procession ends and the cross is left behind, they all share one central belief, that in three days Jesus will rise. And that one day, too, so do the number of people choosing to once again carry the cross up the mountain. Is this event going anywhere? This event is not going anywhere. It's, it's started for 40, 43 years ago, and it's going to be going for another 43 years. Now the cross is never actually left alone. People will be guarding it overnight until Easter Sunday. That's when crowds will gather once again for another Tucson tradition, an early morning sunrise mass atop a mountain. And that mass is open to anyone, correct? Yeah, guys, it's open to all denominations, not just Catholics, but you will have to get up a little early. It starts at 6. Okay, Marcelino, thank you.